Are you still trying to get the smooth paid up logo animation in After Effects so that your edits don't look like shit anymore? Well, don't worry because today we'll show you step by step how you can do it and all you need to know. And in my case, I chose an X that I'm gonna have fade up in this clip of Patrick Batman. And as you can see, I already prepared the text. So now I'm just gonna drag the object that I wanna use onto my timeline. As you can see, I have this X right here. And now what we're gonna do is once we've added the object onto our timeline, we're gonna go ahead and select the layer, go into our layer field in the top and select auto trace. Now here you're gonna select work area, leave these settings how they are and press OK. Now this process is it's just automatically gonna detect our edges and create a mask around them that we can now use to make our logo fade up and once you're done you should see that you have a new mask on your object so now to open that press m while having the layer selected select the mask in my case it's yellow and press ctrl and c to now copy it and we're gonna add it onto a new solid layer now to create a new solid layer we're gonna go ahead and press ctrl and y at the same time as you can see this will open up this little extra window and as a color i'm gonna select black press ok Leave these settings how they are and press OK again. Now select the solid layer and press Ctrl and B to paste the mask onto it. Now you can go ahead and delete the original object layer because we're not going to need it anymore. Next, we're going to go to our effects and presets panel and search for the Saber effect. Drag it onto your clip. And now to actually make the fade up animation, we're going to have to tweak the settings a bit. So just follow what I'm doing. We're going to go ahead and open the customized core setting. And instead of Saber, have the core type selected as layer map. Now next, open the render settings, scroll down. And instead of having the composite setting as black, we're going to put it to transparent. Now also in my case, I want to change the color of the object. So I'm going to put it from blue to red. And as you can see, there's still a lot of glow in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and set the core size from 3 down to 1. Now this already looks way better, but because I don't want my animation to be in the middle of the screen, I'm going to adjust the position. To do that, just select the black solid layer, press P on your keyboard to bring up the position in keyframes, and now play around with these settings until it fits your liking. Now because I want my object to fade up in the back of my text, I'm just going to center it like this. Now to add the actual fade up animation, we're going to have to add some keyframes. And to do that, we're going to go to the point in time where we want our animation to start and set a keyframe for the start offset. Now put the value from 0 up to 100%. Go to where you want your animation to be finished, which is for me gonna be around here, and set the value down to 0. Now press U to bring up these keyframes, select both of them, right click, keyframe assistant and hit easy ease. Now by easy easing our keyframes we added a graph and therefore make the animation look way smoother. Now because I want my animation to be a bit longer lasting, I'm gonna now select both of the keyframes and while pressing down alt on my keyboard I'm gonna drag them ahead. Now last but not least we're gonna add some movement to our animation. And to do that, I'm going to use scaling. So go ahead, select your solid layer, press S on your keyboard to bring up the scale property. Go roughly to where the animation starts. Set a keyframe here and I'm going to put it down to 90. Move to the end where you want your animation to be finished and put it up to what value you like, which for me is going to be 110. Now when we play the clip, Hey Paul! We can see that the animation is slowly moving towards us, which in my opinion fits perfect to the text. And now the last and most important step is gonna be getting a good color correction to your edits. So if you don't wanna miss the opportunity on boosting your potential to the top, make sure to check out the first thing in the description because as of now I'm still running a huge sale. You can get all my presets for up to 70% cheaper. So make sure to not miss out on the one-time opportunity and get your presets now. Now once all these steps are done, this is what your edit should look like. Hey Paul! And if this video helped you, make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me what tutorial you want to see. Also, as I said, don't miss out on the huge opportunity in my shop. As well as joining my Discord, where a huge community of editors, you can just get in touch with me or ask me questions. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.